Okay, Sagittarius is. Thank you, angels. Thank you, gods. This is your oracle reading. I'm going to pull three cards for you, and then we are going to dive into the book to get deeper meaning. Spirit, what do you have for our Sagittarius friends, family, tribe? Sagittarius. Nope. Alrighty then. We're ready to go here. Okay, so I divide the cards in three. We'll pull the first one out. We have Birthing a New Age. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Let me get here in the book. Oh. Okie dokie, here we go. Often our path is exactly the one that we don't feel prepared to walk. Walk it anyway. Often what is right. What is rising feels far bigger than we could possibly hold. Be a container for it anyway. Often our creations seem to have a wild, uncontrollable consciousness of their own. Birth them anyway. Often what is ours to do is the very thing that most intimidates us. Be courageous and do it anyway. We are all birthing a new age. Right now we are in transition period between ages. In the process of allowing the old cycle to fall away and the new to rise, like a driving in the fog and trusting the road will appear ahead, we need to release old identities and ways that no longer serve us, using our intuition as a compass. You are part of a group of souls who have been incarnating at significant periods of history preparing for this exact time. Dreaming a new world into being, the Magdalene sisters, daughters of Isis, the Senes, Priestesses, witches, mystics, healers, seers, artists, midwives, visionaries, guardians of the earth, and storytellers from times past. It is time to give permission and space for what is beckoning within to be born. We are dreaming a new world into being. I'm going to hold this up closer here. You can take a screenshot if you need to. I'm going to read for the individual and then collective. Okay. I am open to surrendering to the creations that are wanting to be birthed through me. May I be of service in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. Please use me. Please lead me. Please show me the way. Now I'm going to read the activation for the collective. We are open to surrendering to the creations that are wanting to be birthed through us. May we be of service in a way that delights our minds, bodies, and souls. Please use us. Please lead us. Please show us the way. Next up, we've got take a break. A life's work is not a season. Get off the treadmill. Um, this has also come up. A couple of times um, I think everybody in these energies that are happening with <laughs> all the astrology everybody's kind of going a little crazy and we're all falling back into like well if I just keep doing stuff you know I'm gonna just let the days pass and we'll get through it here but um, we are being called to feel everything and process a life's work not a season get off the treadmill it's okay to take a break and enjoy your creations to take a moment from your busy schedule to get off the treadmill of life to appreciate and acknowledge all that you have created achieved released or experienced before rushing on to the next thing to be in the moment and enjoy where you are to take a breath and regather your mind, your body, your spirit, to recalibrate, appreciate, and celebrate, to decide on what you really want to experience next. If you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project, manifested something significant in your life, released an old way of being, or just being been burning the candle at both ends. Now is the time to take some time Take some time out before rushing on to the next thing. You did it. Enjoy yourself and recalibrate. Go on a vacation, book a massage, take long walks in nature, 
go away for a rejuvenating weekend to recharge and replenish. Lovely. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish boundaries? This has also come up for um, a few of the signs. Sagittarius, you are not alone. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? You're being called to create clear boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family, or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. At first, it might only be a little bit and not feel like a big deal, but before you know it, your energy field becomes porous and you are left feeling depleted, resentful, or taken advantage of. It was Taurus that this came up for earlier. Saying no and having clear boundaries is exactly a spiritual act. Oh, oh, excuse me, is actually a spiritual act. And I'm going to read that again. Saying no and having clear boundaries is actually a spiritual act. The most giving, loving, compassionate people are those with the clearest boundaries. For when they say yes, they are able to give unconditionally. When your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand and you are able to give freely. If you're not clear where your boundaries lie, this causes confusion, resentment, and energetic cords to be planted. If you're saying yes when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? Notice all the hands around her grabbing, right? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or a fear of loss. The best way to gauge your boundaries is to check it within your belly. Your belly is the second brain. It has an intelligence known as your gut feelings. Tune into this space when deciding what is okay for you. How does it feel? What is it trying to communicate with you? Work your light inquiry, Sagittarius. Where in your life do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay, so... You're going to be birthing a lot of new creations. Okay. Remember to take a break. Part of tuning into the divine and hearing the messages is learn in learning how to be still. If you don't know how to be still, then you need to take time and learn how to do that. Get away from the noise and the monkey brain. Right. How do you do that? You establish better boundaries. Okay. Look at the rings around her auric field and the spikes. Okay, because she's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, reaching in all at the same time. Okay, and trust me when I say that when you do this and establish boundaries, the people that are actually wanting to work with you and uh, things will appreciate it because you will be more centered. Um, and more on, tar on target during the work. We've got an L, we've got an N, we've got an R, and we've got an S. So this could be your name, someone in your family, someone in your tribe. This could mean something to you. Okay? Well, Sagittarius, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for your support, your likes, your comments, your subscribes. Please take care of yourself and take care of each other and be kind out there.